Kinematics Equation 1. Acceleration is the rate of change of velocity. So acceleration is change in velocity over change in time. If we assume that the initial time is just zero, that becomes change in velocity, final velocity minus initial velocity, divided by the final time, or the time span. So you could also think of acceleration as how quickly is velocity changing. Acceleration is a vector. It has a magnitude, like an amount, and a direction. Only constant acceleration will be considered in this course. There's no need to differentiate between average and instantaneous acceleration. In this course, they're the same. Problems with a changing acceleration are covered in more advanced physics courses like uh, AP Physics C. You can derive the units for acceleration by substituting the correct units into the right-hand side of this equation. The units for velocity are meters per second. The units for time are seconds. Therefore, we get meters per second per second, but the seconds are both in the denominator. This, de this one moves down to the denominator, giving us meters per second squared, which is how it's normally said. Let's derive kinematics equation one. We start with the definition of acceleration, the change in velocity over time. Remember, delta v means change in velocity. Change in velocity is final minus initial. So we get v minus v naught in the numerator. We're gonna assume that the initial time is zero. Therefore, t minus t naught, this goes away, and we are just left with the time span, the final time. Now all we do is rearrange this equation to solve for v. So we're going to multiply both sides by t, we're going to add v naught to both sides, and we get kinematics equation 1. This equation tells us how an object's velocity changes as a function of time. Here is how the equation is written on the AP Physics 1 equation sheet. What are those x's here, here, and here? Well, since velocity and acceleration are vectors, they have direction. The x subscripts signify that in order to use this equation, the velocity and acceleration plugged in need to be in the same dimension. Once we learn two-dimensional kinematics, this will become more clear. Why doesn't t have a subscript? Time is a scalar. It doesn't have direction. The same time, t, exists in both the x and y dimensions. In fact, it is the variable that links the dimensions together. It will become very useful to us later on. Velocity can be in the x or the y dimension, so this equation is telling you that the dimension needs to be the same for velocity and acceleration. vy equals vy0 plus ayt will be another version of this equation that we will use. If an object accelerates from rest with a constant acceleration of 5.4 meters per second squared, what will its velocity be after 28 seconds? All right, so we write out our givens. We have an initial velocity of zero. That's kind of the secret given in here because it accelerates from rest. When you see from rest, that means the initial velocity is zero. We have an acceleration. We have a time, a final time here. Initial time is zero. So we can use kinematics equation one. We don't even have to rearrange it. We just plug in our givens. So our initial velocity is zero, acceleration 5.4, time 28 seconds. Our final velocity will be 151 meters per second. An object is moving at a velocity of 23 meters per second. It accelerates to a velocity of 85 meters per second over a time of 8.3 seconds. What acceleration did it experience? First, we write out our givens. Our initial velocity is 23. Our final velocity is 85. The time span is 8.3 seconds. And so we're going to use kinematics equation 1. But this time, we're solving for acceleration. So we're first going to subtract v naught to the other side, and then we are going to divide both sides by t. Here's our equation, then we plug in our givens and get 7.5 meters per second squared. 
A car is driving at a velocity of 24 meters per second. If its brakes can supply an acceleration of negative 5 meters per second squared, how much time will be required to bring the car to a stop? All right, so our givens. Our initial velocity is 24. Our final velocity is zero. This is a secret given because it says bring the car to a stop. So it's not saying zero meters per second, but it is saying the car will be stopped. Therefore, the velocity will be zero. The acceleration is negative five. What does that mean? Well, it means if the car is driving this way, let's say, in the positive direction, its velocity, this means its acceleration is in the other direction. It must be in the negative direction. If they're in different directions, that means this object will slow down. So we're going to use kinematics equation one. We are going to solve for time. So first we're going to subtract v naught to the other side. Then we're going to divide both sides by acceleration. Then plug in your numbers. Don't forget to plug in negative five for acceleration and we get 4.8 seconds.